Hey, welcome back YouTube community to Block Source Music Channel. And today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another look at the Emu Command Station PX7, right? This thing was built 15 years ago. And I know you asking yourself, man, why are we looking at something old? Why we can't look at nothing, something more relevant, right? Well, listen, this machine right here, I feel like this machine is, has a lot of relevance and it has a space in the music community today. So I felt like it deserved another look at, closer look. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be looking at that, that command station today, buddy. All right, yeah, I know it's been a minute since I did a Boom by Monday, but I was thinking today would be the perfect opportunity to whip up one of those classics. So stay tuned for that. The PX7 command station is 128 polyphony. 32 multi timbral sound module released in 2003 with a 16 track sequence now the reason why i use the px7 because i believe in my opinion the px7 has a fantastic drum sound better than any vst or sound module i've touched yet that's just my opinion that's my take on it and of course it was all that i can afford at the time in a sequence these machines are discontinued and you can only find them used now i've owned mines for three years now almost three years now and it held up pretty good okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through some of the sounds so you can all get an idea of what the px7 sounds like and what it has to offer Touch strip, got a touch strip. That's nice. Always nice to have that touch strip. So it has three record functions, real time, grid, and step. So that gives you three options to record. You got the stop button, play, record, three record mode. You got your shift and tap tempo. That's always good to have, the tap tempo. You can just tap in any tempo you would like. And edit, you have this edit selection for tempo, pattern, bars, track, channel. I mean, it's pretty much nothing this machine can't do. So. I don't know. I mean, it's a no-brainer. For me, it was a no-brainer. I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I needed. Let's record something real quick. Let's set it to record mode real time. Quantize 16. Metronome on. Count in. Set to 1. Let's put this on a 4-bar loop for length. LN represents length. And bar, uh, we got... All right, so... All right, let's give it a go. So we got that set to track one. If we want to record any more sequence, we got to select another track. Right now we got it on track one with what we just recorded. Now we're going to set it on track two. Uh, the same, same situation. All right, let's just, all right, same situation. Let's just find some sounds.
that's all I have for you today. I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. And to remind you all, if you want to know when I upload my videos, please hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified when my videos are being uploaded. And if you have any video suggestions or any suggestions or comments or anything like that, please leave it in the comment box below. I would love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, peace.